Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew is here from MND Forex Traders. I hope you're doing great. So I'm here with a trade breakdown on NZD, NZD Swiss. A really, really nice setup that turned out amazing. So watch the rest of the video to actually find out what made me take this particular trade, the entries, and everything else. All right, so you guys, watch the rest of the video. All right, great. So in front of me right now, what you're able to see right now is a setup we took on the 15 minutes time frame today. As you can see here, the 9th of December, our nine hours. Um, what happened was that this particular trade is actually in a downtrend. So therefore, when I when I saw this, I saw this nice rally based drop supply zone. Okay. After noticing this nice rally based drop supply zone, what did I do? I went to the lower time frame and found my order block. And after finding that order block, I waited for price to do what? To actually give me a rejection at this level. And after I got that, this trade was actually shared with our private community and we took this trade. And this trade turned out to be amazing. So check out. So let's go to the chart right now. Great. So let's go, let's start from the four hour time frame. So from the four hour time frame, we i saw this beautiful beautiful week right there let's go back to the two hour time frame yeah so that that week that we saw on the four hour time frame is this week right here okay so this is a rather best drop supplies on, on the lower time frame. let's go to the 15 minutes time frame you see it much much more visible here we had a clean clean rally base drop supplies very basic stuff when we saw that happening what did i do i waited for what for price to come into this area why because there was unfulfilled orders at this level which needed to be triggered. So price had to come here. So we had to wait for price to do that. Okay. So once price did that, we waited for our confirmation and then the market really, really dropped to the downside in a nice, nice way. And clearly they see that this is the one to 15 risk reward ratio. Our stop loss like was 15 pips and our target was like 60 pips. And you can clearly they see the market literally just Hit this level right here and push back to the upside just like that so of course we're also looking at this level here this was very very significant because the market was likely going to react from this level and that's how you determine your take profit area you look at the next fresh demand zone or supply zone right here because that's a potential area where the market is going to what going to reverse from so when we saw that when we saw this coming in the market coming here we just simply waited for the price to come to that table, waited for our confirmation, and guess what? We executed. Really, really nice setup, which turned out amazing. If you go to the lower time frame, you clearly see that we had to build this nice pin bar right there, followed by another pin bar. And after that, we saw a market really dropping to the downside, really, really nice. So if you turn on this um, indicator right here, our Asian range, you're going to realize that the market literally just took out the high of the Asian range. The market just took out the high of the Asian range right here and came into our rally based drop supply zone, our premium area. And guess what? The market just dropped upon clearing the highs of the Asian range. So that's another confluence that you can add on to your particular trade so that you can actually use this as a confluence. All right. So when you have this, you can actually be of benefit. All right, so this is a trade that we had really, really nice setup, quite simple and straightforward. And the market didn't really deadly here. The market just kept on dropping, 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 dropping. And uh, this is how much, this is how far the market actually dropped. And then we saw the market going to the upside. All right, as, you, as you've seen here, this trade was shared with our private community right here. And uh, yeah, so if, if you're in this particular group, you probably made some good money today. So. That's all I had for you guys. I hope you found value in this video. If you have, make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment section, and uh, let's go.